There's Ben Shapiro on The Daily Wire who continually tries to claim that everything is anti-Semitism. We've got Michael Knowles who continually pushes bigoted beliefs and backs it up with religion. And then anyone who tries to argue about it, he considers hateful and does a bunch of projection. Then we've got Matt Walsh, who is really, really a religious zealot. There's Andrew Claven, who is probably the most decent person on that on uh, the Daily Wire, but he he even he inserts some of the religious stuff in there once in a while, but not nearly as bad as as Matt Walsh. But Michael Knowles, who has went up and just stated really awful things about trans people. Who he, is, he has very bigoted beliefs about gay people. And people are just supposed to be okay with it because, oh, well, that's their religious beliefs. Well, you wouldn't say that if a, if a Muslim said the same thing. You'd say, oh, look, look, uh, the Muslims hate gay people. Yeah, but the types of Christians that uh, Michael Knowles and, and Matt Walsh are, uh, are bigoted too. Why is it okay with them, but it's not okay with Muslims, right? Bothers me. But here we've got Michael Knowles trying to claim that Pete Buttigieg is pushing intersectionality. Check this out. Yeah, everybody's got hardship. Everybody struggles. So you can either whine about it all the time, or you can show some grit and determination. The American people like dignity. They like suffering silently. They like grit. They don't want whiny little brats, which is what you saw from the Hillary Clinton campaign. It's what you're seeing now from Pete Buttigieg. How do you even remotely come to that conclusion out of what he's been saying? Or is it just you claiming to be the victim because someone said something negative about, about conservative Christians? Is that the problem? I think that's the problem. He really could offer youthful Midwestern optimism. He could. He's very smart. He served his country. He could do, he could offer that. He's throwing it away on this intersectional gambit that is probably not going to pay off. One of the reasons why I like Pete Buttigieg is the fact that he doesn't do the intersectionality thing. He doesn't tell people, oh, vote for me because I'm gay. He's not pulling that at all. He is, however, saying that Republicans aren't the only ones who can be Christian. The left can be Christian, too. But you don't like that. You don't like the fact that he says that the right-wing version of Christianity is often rather bigoted. You know, you can't handle someone saying that. You're the type of person who claims it's persecution when someone says something negative about Christianity in general. So, you know, who's playing victim here? So then he becomes this nasty, catty jerk, and he loses the only thing that people actually like about him. It also reminds us this theme that just keeps coming back again and again, which is the left is always projecting. Pete Buttigieg, for the last few weeks, has been accusing conservative Christians of being closed-minded and vindictive and judgmental, and they're the Mike Pence's of the world, and God wouldn't be a Republican, and wow, what is he doing? He's telling the truth. Jesus wouldn't be a Republican. He wouldn't be saying to the elderly and poor people and women and minorities, he wouldn't tell them, oh, you just need to pick yourselves up by your bootstraps. That wasn't his message. He's doing all the things that he's accusing conservative Christians of doing. He's questioning other people's faith. He's judging them, their actions and their faith. He's not projecting. You just can't take what you dish out. He's been nasty. He's been cruel. He's been uncompassionate. You see, this is where you lose. You're expecting him to be compassionate towards people that think that he's an abomination, towards people who think that he's made a choice in being homosexual. You think he should be compassionate towards that? What's wrong with you? You wouldn't say the same thing if, it, if it, we were talking about Muslims. But no, it's Christianity. No, hands off Christianity. Hands off Christianity. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. He's doing all the things he's accusing them of doing. You choose to have the belief system you have. 
You choose to interpret the Bible the way that you do. There are many ways to interpret the Bible. And many people on the left interpret the Bible quite differently than many people on the right. Now, I am not saying all people on the right interpret it in a bigoted way, but there are enough of them, and enough of them with power, that it makes a difference. Mike Pence is obviously uh, an example of someone who interprets the Bible in such a way that he thinks gay people are going to burn in hell for eternity. He has a wife that teaches at an anti-gay school. There's quite a difference here. Being gay is not something someone chooses. Even if it's a subconscious or unconscious uh, choice, that's not a conscious choice. That's not someone someone chooses. It's also not something someone should be made to feel bad about.